Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. In this particular tutorial, I want to quickly go over the main differences between all and all selected. I do still see a bit of confusion around this uh, out there, um, especially at the Enterprise DNA forum, but, but also with some questions that people ask me in a variety of different forms. So I just want to go through this example that I've set up to try and really um, explain to you as clearly as I possibly can, just the main difference between all and all selected, okay? Now, what I've got here, what, what, what we're going to try and work out is the highest sale, okay? So I want to work out what the highest sale is in any, uh, any one month, okay? But I want to visually be able to show the highest sale in this chart, okay? So you'll see here, I've already basically got the chart uh, set up for us, but... I've got my, my revenue every month, and then I've got some lines here which say what the highest value is in um, each of the, those unique months. Now, the biggest difference here is that I've got two results here. I've got one using all and one using all selected. Now, the big difference is all will go and calculate the highest month from the beginning of time, no matter what date context we have here but all selected will take into account the date context we have in our report page, okay? Okay, so let's just work through an example. I'm just gonna bring in this particular formula here to begin with. So what this essentially does is it is calculating the highest sale per month, okay? So if I drag this out into uh, a card here, change it into a card, you'll see with no other context on this, this is calculating the highest sale month here. So let's have a look at what that uh, is. It's 15,004, so we'll have a look down here in our um, particular, uh, so it's January 2016 in this case, okay? The interesting thing though, is if I actually bring that exact same formula into this particular um, table, because of the context coming from the month and year column here, what that does is in this values part, it at every single row here, it evaluates to every single month. So we're only actually iterating through one particular month, not all of the months, which we are doing with this particular result in this context here. But remember, what I want to do is I want to show these values in a chart like this. So basically, I want to show the highest sale per month uh, of, of a month the same, I want the same result all the way down here in every single row of the table. Okay, so let's first of all use all, okay? So let's have a look at this. And this is a really common way to use all, especially with the calculate statement. You really will use just all or all selected by themselves, right, inside of Power BI. You always have to use it mo most of the time in some sort of combination with calculate or calculate table, something like that. Sometimes you'll place it inside of a filter, for example, filter function. Okay, so this part of the formula is exactly the same, okay, as our other one, but we want to calculate it in a different context, or we want to change the context of the calculation, and that's what we can do in, in with calculate. Now, the interesting thing to note here, though, you'll see that this particular result is different to this one here. So, uh, I'll highlight that even more here. I'll click, I'll just create another card down here. So you'll see that this is different because it is not um, taking into account the date context we have selected here. It's actually looking across every month through time. So if I go and extend this time frame, you'll see that they will then equal the same. But if I um, take it into a much smaller time frame, well then the highest amount in this particular date selection is actually different, okay? So instead of using all, which remove filters on all dates, what we wanna do is we wanna remove filters on just the dates in the current context of the report page, so within the selection that we have made, okay? And then all we have to do for that is use all selected. All selected removes any filter, just like all does, but takes into account the overarching context in the report page. And that's the, that's the very, very key thing, very key thing to understand really well um, when, when trying to um, get your head around the difference here, okay? Now you'll 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 you've most likely probably also seen all selected in the cumulative total pattern, and so that's another um, another uh, another time that you might have um, might have seen it, and that's a very similar thing, right? Because you if you're if you've got some sort of date uh, date selection in your report page here, 
and you want to run a cumulative total, you, you don't really care about the cumulative total you know, from the beginning of time. You only care about what you're actually selecting here in most cases, and you want it to be a dynamic, uh, a dynamic calculation that sort of updates every time you make a uh, make a selection. Okay, so short and sweet there. Don't want to go too much further into it, but hopefully that gives you you know a much better idea of the the main difference there. Okay, um, it's 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 subtle. It's a subtle difference, but it can make a big difference in the calculation that you you get in in, in a particular context. Okay, and it and it's key to have a real good understanding of of what that um, what is causing those those differences. Um, especially uh, you know if you're um, going from all to all selected. Okay, wrap things up. Hopefully you you got a lot out of this one. Um, if you did and enjoyed enjoyed um, the content that I went through, definitely throw the video a like. Really appreciate it as always. And don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Lots of lots of great content coming out to you. Okay, all the best.